Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to review the Droid Razor HD. The Razor HD is the latest from Motorola. It also has a brother, Razor HD Max, and maybe a little brother, the Droid Razor M. The Razor HD is $199 with a two year contract on Verizon and offers a 4.7 inch screen with a 720 by 1280 resolution and 312 pixels per inch in this nice Super AMOLED screen. Now, some of the reviews I've seen have said that it has a blue tint to it. Personally, I don't really see that. However, uh, it, it's difficult for some to see that more than others. I really haven't noticed it myself. I thought the screen looks really nice and crisp, and it's got such a high pixel density, it's on par with the iPhone and Galaxy S3. So really nice there. And the screen is nice and bright and vibrant, and haven't had any response issues. It's really fast, and has some really nice specs inside. Motorola has equipped this with a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Plus processor, an Adreno 225 GPU, and one gigabyte of RAM. It also has 12 gigabytes of internal storage and is expandable up to 32 gigabytes with extra SD memory card or micro SD. The phone itself is really nice, has a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front, speaker on the bottom or microphone on the bottom, speaker on the top, on this side, we have volume up and down, power, sleep, wake, and this is a nice metal band, or at least it appears to be metal. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. Around the side, we have an HDMI, mini HDMI out. We also have our micro USB. We also have a SIM card slot. Uh, you put a little pen or a little SIM card tool they have, and it'll pop the SIM card out. On the bottom, just a couple screws that hold the thing together. And on the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera with a flash speaker. Looks like we've got a microphone here. And this is a Kevlar back. Just as with the other Razer devices, Motorola's chosen to coat the internals of the whole phone with a water resistant coating, uh, similar to maybe Liquipel or one of those things. And it allows you to, in theory, drop it in the water and not destroy the phone. However, you wouldn't want to just do that for fun, but it obviously would help in the long term if you do drop your phone into uh, anything with water in it or you dump a glass of water on it. The phone itself really feels nice in the hand but it does feel bulky. The skin on the back or the Kevlar skin on the back wraps around the edge here and unlike the previous version where it was inset this adds a, a feeling of bulk to the phone but it's also a little grippy as it has kind of a rubbery feel to it. Motorola is calling this the all-day phone and that's due in part to its large 2530 milliamp hour battery good for about 16 hours of talk time. I was able to easily get through a full day using the phone regularly uh, playing around with it a little bit watching a few movies in fact I watched two movies on Netflix or actually just let them run as a test and let them run over the 4G so it would try and drain as much battery as possible and I really had no issues whatsoever. If we go into here we can see we've been on for 8 minutes and 27 seconds at 98% but you really can get easily through a whole day without any problem whatsoever. The phone overall though has a very nice processor and like I mentioned it's very fast so you really have no hiccups, everything's fluid, and the display only adds to the experience. We only have Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich but that's supposed to be updated before the end of the year according to Motorola to 4.1 Jelly Bean. So hopefully we'll see that sooner rather than later the display that they have here or their user interface they've put over the top of Android is nice but it's only simple enough that we have this weather here we can flip these around kinda neat to play with and it's a nice little touch but it's not too much out of what Android already offers they just add this little quick setting thing we slide to the right it's here on the home screen and then we can add more screens as we like to the right and it gives you templates and things like that the phone itself though is really nice, maybe a little bit large for some people, but definitely something worth checking out. The camera in it is also pretty decent, the 8 megapixel camera, although did have a pink spot in the center of mine when I put it on a white wall. So I'm not quite sure what that's about, but we've seen that in other phones like the Lumia 900 and this had it as well. So when I was facing this right at a white wall, hit the camera button, I actually stopped and looked and saw a bright pink spot in the middle so I don't know what that is in particular with this 
camera or maybe it's the same camera that they're using in those other devices but i didn't find that it really degraded too much from image quality it was just there and obviously there against a white background benchmark wise it's actually a pretty fast phone i posted these on instagram twitter and facebook and i found that it's really fast it's about the same speed or a little bit faster than the htc one x in my tests than a default stock one so it's a pretty fast phone overall too i could definitely recommend this phone as i think it'll be pretty durable over time with the kevlar back it's waterproofing and gorilla glass on the front it's a decent overall phone and is definitely better in battery life than a lot of phones out there. If you have any questions or comments relating to this phone, please place them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.